All right, guys, so today I have kind of a fun one for you. This is the Mauser model 1914 uh, pistol. I'm gonna show you how to disassemble it kind of fully. Uh, cool thing about this is it doesn't require any tools other than a screwdriver uh, just to get the grips off. But uh, this disassembly will apply to the model 1910, 1914, and the 1434. Um, so I'm gonna kind of go through this. First off, obviously make sure it's unloaded, nothing in the magazine. Um, and actually, this is going to be the first step for the disassembly too. So you're going to push this little button here, rotate this, slide it out. Now your barrel is going to come out the top. Uh, this one can, this part can be a little bit hard to get. So to release this slide from this part, point forward, you got you have to insert the magazine because it has a kind of automatic release feature. Um, however, you want to make sure you. Are holding on to the slide as you do that so I will kind of put my hands there bring it forward now what's keeping this slide from coming off the front is the magazine still so I'm gonna drop the magazine now pull that out notice the cool Mauser logo there now I'll bring the slide all the way forward so you're gonna have a recoil spring here and the other thing to watch for is your firing pin okay so it's working forward a little bit of resistance there it's just working its way over that so now your slide is out and notice that there's nothing other than the extractor left in the slide and then obviously your rear sight but your slide is completely stripped at that point um, I do not recommend taking out the extractors on these there's unless it's broken there's no reason to and uh, you never know about you can damage that or break it pretty easily so you got your recoil spring and guide rod um, I don't believe this is, I believe it's omnidirectional, but as a rule of thumb for these, just always, if it comes off like that, leave it like that until you're going to clean it so that you know that it's the going on in the right direction. So now we have your firing pin, firing pin spring. Like I said, that can easily be uh, kind of launched if you let it. So I'm going to pull the trigger there just a little bit to clear. Uh, once again, just a good rule of thumb is, I, I'm not sure if this is omnidirectional or not, this spring, so just leave it on the firing pin until you absolutely need to take it off or work for what have you. Um, now, I'm gonna use a screwdriver to take off the grips. Get Use hollow ground bits, um, like your general gunsmithing bits. Uh, I'm using the Brownells ones. This one's a 270-4, if you're gonna order it specifically for this gun. So it fits in there good, those hollow ground bits. Uh, what they do is it makes it a lot harder for you to slip out of that screw head and it won't damage it. Most traditional screwdrivers are kind of shaped like a wedge and you can slide right out of there. Okay, so that's out. Now the grips are gonna come off. So they're just gonna kind of slide right off the back. And you're actually pushed down on that magazine release a little bit doesn't get caught. So there's your grips. Kind of leaves you with an odd looking frame here. Uh, now this is kind of where it gets gets cool as far as you don't need any tools. Um, the, the other interesting thing about this gun is this is your, your uh, safety. So it's not a slide release. You pull that down and that's what puts it on safe. And to release the safety, you push this button that normally would be your magazine release. Your magazine release is down here. Okay, so at this point, this panel here, you're just gonna push, slide that up with your thumb, like that, and that'll rock out of the way. The, uh, it's kind of keyed there with that tab, and that kind of exposes those internals. Look at that beautiful uh, fire bluing and then that gold, um, first that straw color that you get. Uh, you can see there's spring pressure here, uh, I did an article on my website that you guys can go check out just talking about like the fundamentals of disassembly and I I have taken this apart before but it's been a probably a year or two um, so I'm not following a guide either but I just know from general taking apart guns that there are certain ways you want to do things and uh, so now you don't need a tool for this but I find it easy to use something kind of pointed these guys are pretty helpful you're just going to Grab that spring. And 
and yep, just pop it out of there. So that's a little leaf type spring. And what that does is that takes the spring pressure off. You're not gonna send anything across the room at that point. That's hooked there, so you gotta slide that forward. And uh, keep in mind that orientation too as you're doing it. Try to lay your stuff out on your bench as you take it apart so that you don't accidentally try to put it in like that or uh, however that is. So this is just gonna come up and out. Um, now this piece coming right out, once again, that was held in there by that spring pressure. And you have that piece, your, your trigger. You can see that there's a leaf spring in there again. Uh, that's just gonna slide right out of there can't get that spring out until you have that uh, trigger out but um, honestly for this video I'm just gonna leave that in there you can take that out though it'll just pop out but I'm gonna be putting it right back together I just wanted to show you guys um, now for this piece you can pull that out a little bit you got to clear that notch on the bottom and then it should just slide right down mine's a little tight in there There we go. So it doesn't take doesn't take a whole lot, but uh, if you want to use a hammer and punch here, that can help you out a little bit. But I'm trying to do it without any tools. So that sound that there wasn't anything that just went flinging across the room. That was me simply bumping into that and some of the parts moving around. But the tab on this mag release goes all the way up and touches on there, and that's what's holding that piece in. Sorry, I don't have all the correct terminology for all these pieces for you. I just can't remember them. Like I said, I haven't taken this apart in a long time. So that piece comes out. And there you go, you have a completely stripped frame. Once again, minus that trigger spring. So uh, it's a pretty simple disassembly. And once once again, I only used a screwdriver and I did use this to kind of help me pull that uh, one spring out. But other than that, you can kind of scrub it however you like. Um, oil it up and yeah, you're, you're good to go. And doing this, you don't need to do this every time you clean it, just simply field stripping it and running patches down the barrel, lubing it up, that will make it last forever. But doing one of these every so often can really help add the longevity to this gun. Uh, in the next video, I'll kind of show you how to reassemble it. And that will, um, yeah, that, that process will go about the same in reverse. But for those that want to see it, I'll put that up. If you guys have any questions, uh, let me know. Thanks.